we know that all the plants synthesize their food by themselves. The plants synthesize their food by the process of photosynthesis. But they cannot utilize all this food at once. So they store it in the form of starch. So if we want to see that the plant has photosynthesized, we can check this with the presence of starch. So now let's do some experiments to see the presence of starch in the plants. So in these experiments, we'll use iodine solution to confirm the presence of starch as this iodine solution turns blue-black in the presence of starch. Now let's start the experiment. Pluck a leaf from the plant with variegated leaves. Now what are these variegated leaves? The variegated leaves have green and non-green parts. The green parts contain chlorophyll and so they photosynthesize and they have starch in them while the non-green parts do not have. Now boil this variegated leaf in water for 40 to 60 seconds. This will stop all the ongoing chemical reactions. Then dip this leaf in boiling ethanol for some time and this will remove all the color of the leaves. Then wash the leaves with water and put iodine solution over it. What will you observe? You will see that all the green parts of the plant are stained blue-black as they contain starch in them while the non-green parts are left unstained. In other words, we can say that the green parts of the plants photosynthesized and they could do so because of the presence of chlorophyll pigments in them while the non-green plants they do not have chlorophyll pigments so they could not photosynthesize. Let's do one more experiment to see if you got the gist of photosynthesis. In this experiment also, we'll use iodine solution to test the presence of starch. We'll take two potted plants and label them as plant 1 and plant 2. Now keep these plants in dark for 3 days. This will remove all the starch present in the leaves. Then we'll invert the glass jars over these plants. We'll keep potassium hydroxide in the jar which contains plant 1. Potassium hydroxide absorbs carbon dioxide. Now we'll seal both the jars and make them airtight and we'll keep them in sunlight for 3 hours. After 3 hours, we'll test the presence of starch in the leaves of both of the plants. Let's see what happens. Here we can see that plant 1 does not contain starch while plant 2 confirms the presence of starch in it. Can you tell me why? Let me explain. Now the plant 1 which contains potassium hydroxide in it could not utilize carbon dioxide present inside the glass jar as potassium hydroxide absorbs carbon dioxide and so the plant could not photosynthesize while plant 2 as it does not have potassium hydroxide in it it utilized the whole carbon dioxide present inside the glass jar and so it photosynthesized and confirmed the presence of starch in it. So in these experiments we saw that chlorophyll and carbon dioxide are essential for photosynthesis. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.